Hi friends, it's Miss Jess. I'm back to see you again. Today I'm in my kitchen and you can see that in my kitchen I have my coffee pot, very important, my dishwasher, my sink, my stove, and my microwave and mixer. And behind me is my fridge, my refrigerator. And I'm in the kitchen today because we're gonna make Play-Doh together. Won't that be fun? So at school right now, we have alien Play-Doh. It's green and it smells like peppermint. And we have all these cool things we can stick in it to make alien bodies, but it's at school and we're at home. So I thought it would be so much fun to make Play-Doh together, but then you can use it home with your family. So we'll give it a try. Before we do that though, let's start with our hello song. You ready? Okay. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm happy to see you. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm happy to see you. For our family at home, we use a lot of sign language in my classroom because signs like friends and happy help with kiddos that are still learning language. It's very helpful for kids that have some developmental issues. Um, sometimes we have some nonverbal kiddos. It helps them to speak more and to start to connect that part of their brain um, with their mouth and then the language comes easier. So we use a lot of sign language in my classroom besides. So. Sometimes I just talk with my hands and sometimes I'm doing purposeful sign language. So let's get started. Let's talk about what we need today. Um, my family's at home. I sent you a list, so you already have an idea. But for those of you that are joining us that didn't get the list, I'll give you a quick run through. You're going to need a bowl. doesn't have to be a big bowl, but the bigger the bowl, maybe the less mess. You're going to need a spatula or a spoon. You're going to need a one cup measure and a quarter cup measure. My numbers are all gone, but trust me, it's a quarter cup. And the recipe says one cup of water. And what Miss Jess discovered is it doesn't take one cup of water. So if you have one cup of water, this is the part the adults might want to be in charge of because you're not going to use one cup. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And that's the only equipment you need for this recipe. I picked a recipe that you don't have to cook on the stove. Um, I picked a recipe that has very few ingredients and they're all ingredients most people have at their house. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be conscious of the fact that people aren't going to the store um, and that you might have small quantities. Okay. So this is something that almost everybody should be able to do. Um, you're going to need flour and salt. It doesn't have to be iodized. It doesn't have to be a special brand. Um, because I make so much Play-Doh, I buy five or six of these at a time. Um, but it only takes a quarter cup of salt. So you don't need a lot of salt for this. Um, and then the only other ingredient is oil. Vegetable oil, olive oil, canola oil. It doesn't matter, just so it's oil. Um, that's the only mandatory required ingredients for this recipe. So it's very easy. Some extra things you can put on in it to make it fun for the kiddos. Um, vanilla. That works. Um, at school, like I said, we have peppermint extract right now in it. It smells like peppermint. I've used almond extract. I've used essential oils like lavender essential oils so it's calming. Um, anything like that you can add to it to make it smell good. If you use the essential oils, maybe cut back on the, all, the uh, other oil a little bit, okay, so it's not too oily. And then the other thing you can add might be food coloring, if you have that. It's not necessary. It's not needed if you don't want it. Um, the other option would be to use a dry Kool-Aid pack. If you have one of these in your cupboard, you forgot it was in the corner somewhere. Um, a dry pack of Kool-Aid will give you both the color and the smell. And the kids usually like the Kool-Aid kind because it smells good. So. so that's all we need for this recipe. 
Is everybody ready? Okay. As you're watching this, if I'm going too fast, hit stop, hit pause, and continue when you're ready. Um, make it fun. Don't make it stressful. It's just mixing up dough. Okay. Um, the purpose is for them to have the experience, the tactile interaction. And little guys, afterwards, you're going to have a lot of fun playing with it. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with one cup of flour. We're going to take our one cup. And this is not an exact science. Look, I didn't smooth the top or anything special like that. Just one cup of flour, put it in our bowl. And then I'm gonna take my salt. And this one's getting pretty low, so we'll see if I have enough in it. Nope, I ran out, I thought I would. And then we need a quarter cup of salt. And again, this is not, Science, this is not an exact measure. This is just a quarter cup of salt and dump it in there. So now in our bowl, we have salt and we have flour. And we're gonna just give them a quick stir. Just stir them up there. Now this is the part, big people, where you're gonna want to be in charge for a minute. In your one cup of water, you're going to want to pour about a quarter of a cup. Start with less. Less is more. Okay. So we're going to put in, that brings me down about to three quarters of a cup. So if you're doing your math, I did a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to try and stir this in here and see how that looks. And mine is looking kind of crumbly, but that's okay because what we're gonna do next is take our oil and we're gonna pour about a teaspoon in, okay? And again, that does not have to be exact, okay? And if you want to put in some good smelling stuff or some color, now would also be the time to do that. And again, about a quarter teaspoon to a teaspoon. Not an exact science. Um, I think I'm gonna go with green because I'm missing our alien Play-Doh at school. All right, so I have put in flour, one cup. Salt, a quarter cup. We've put in about a quarter cup of water so far. We might add a little more. We put in about a teaspoon of oil a dribble of something good that smells good, and some drops of food coloring, okay? Now we're gonna give it all a good stir. Stir it around, this is where the kids can get in there. Maybe they wanna use their hands. We are gonna use our hands in a minute, okay? Mine's still looking pretty crumbly. So even with the oil in there, it's still looking pretty crumbly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another dribble of water, okay? Okay, now I'm down to about a half a cup. Okay, now I'm gonna stir that around real good. Oh, that's looking a little better. Okay, see I'm, I'm, I'm still crumbly, but it's starting to come together. Everybody see that? Okay, and I think I'm going to get rid of this and use my hands um, because that will tell me if I have it just about right. This Play-Doh should feel nice and silky and smooth, um, not dry and crumbly. Um, and as you squeeze it and move it, it should start to come together. I think I need one more little dribble of water. Just, I mean, just a touch. You're gonna have to gauge it on how yours feels, okay? Um, this is a new recipe. Um, the recipe that I use usually uses cream of tartar and you usually cook it on the stove and that recipe will last for easily a month. Um, the only reason we typically throw it away is because it starts to get full of germs. Um, even while having the kids wash their hands after a while, you're just like, mm, no, yuck. So, all right. So you can see that mine has done this. It's made a ball. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my flour, just a touch, put it on my, see that, on my table, and I'm going to put that ball on there. I'm going to move this down so you can see it and not me. And I am going to do what's called kneading. For my little people, that's a new word for us. Kneading means push and bend. Push and bend. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing all those ingredients together. And that is really good for our hands. So my friends that are trying to learn how to write and trying to learn how to color, this is super awesome for your hands. It makes those muscles in your hands nice and strong. So family at home, we don't have to sit and do worksheets. We don't have to sit and practice writing every day. We can practice with our Play-Doh and we can practice with our kitty scissors. And those are the things that are gonna make our hands nice and strong and make us good writers. So, mine is not very sticky anymore. Can you see me again? Mine is not very sticky anymore, but it's also not dry. You can kind of see the texture of that. See that? That's how we wanna get it to about that consistency. And you'll be able to tell. If it's too sticky, you're gonna be, ooh, add a little more flour, okay? Too much flour, it's gonna get dry and crumbly then add a touch more water. Play-Doh can be kept in the fridge when you're not playing with it in a sealed container like a plastic bag or a bowl that has a tight lid on it. And it will last up to a month. After about a month, throw it away. But one cup of flour and a quarter cup of salt will make enough Play-Doh for one kiddo to play with. Um, my friends that uh, play Play-Doh with me every day, what are some of the things that we use in our Play-Doh? We've used pipe cleaners. We've used Q-tips, buttons, Legos. Legos get stuck, just keep that in mind. Um, cookie cutters, rolling pins, popsicle sticks, toothpicks, you name it. We've probably used it and we get really, really creative with that. Um, adding things to our Play-Doh and cutting and twisting and pulling and all of that good hand strengthening stuff. So that's how you make Play-Doh. And now you have it to use at home with your family. And if you have more than one kiddo, make one more ball. Whatever works for you. So let's do one song before we wrap things up. Uh, one of my friends wrote and said, Miss Jess, I want to hear the boa constrictor song. And my friends usually love the boa constrictor song. And at school, we have a big, long boa constrictor that we use with the song. But I'm at home and boa constrictor's at school. So we will have to pretend, okay? All right, here we go. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor. Don't like it very much. Oh, no, he's up to my toes. Oh, geez, he's up to my knees. Oh, fiddle, he's up to my middle. Oh, heck, he's up to my neck. Oh, dread, he's up to my head. He ate us. So that's our boa constrictor song. Thanks for asking for that song. So going to wrap things up. Going to say goodbye. Um, I'm going to remind you when we are having strong feelings at home, when we are frustrated, we don't need to throw fits. We don't need to cry. Crying's okay. But we can use our skills. We can squeeze Play-Doh. We can draw a picture. We can take our deep breaths and we can sing a song. Skid a rinky dinky dink, skid a rinky do. I love you. Skid a rinky dinky dink, skid a rinky do. I love you.
I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. Love you. Bye, friends.